Welcome back boys and girls. So I thought it was time for another EDC update. Recently I've been carrying my bag or my backpack, the one I showed in the previous video. And I liked it but today I kind of felt like something different. So I repacked some of my gear back into my satchel, trying to lighten the load a bit and add a few items and take away some items and you know try something new. So, I will just go through it quite fast. I will try to and talk about the different items. I will not show everything in all the kits. I might do a separate one on my um, repacked or uh, you know reconsidered first aid kit in a while. But let's just go through it. Out here, I have my leather wallet. You've seen it before, and a notepad and a pen. I will not get into that. And then. I have a diaper bag with hand disinfectant and wet wipes, diapers, that kind of thing. I have children. So, toolkit. I um, removed a couple of items and I put my uh, rescue remedy in here. I'm still trying it out. I'm not sure how much it functions, but you know, it's something. In here we have batteries, zip ties, lighters, spare phone, uh, this uh, big safety pin, mask, uh, some brass, wire, mirror, duct tape if I didn't say that, uh, water pump pliers. You've seen this before, some things have changed a little bit but not much. Continuing on in here, I've taken my Maxpedition, I think it's called the Cocoon, which I got from Sean at Gear Towards Gear, and put my cat tourniquet, gloves and CPR face shield in this pouch here. If I want to I can attach it on the outside of my bag on the strap by using this one if I feel the situation is one where I might need a tourniquet you know you never know but I keep that in here and then for my first aid pouch you've seen my previous first aid kit many times my trauma kit and my first aid kit I kind of repacked it all into this heli context mini and I have this reflective thing on here which I can put on, put on my arm if I, I need to work out in the dark so instead of having a completely self-contained trauma kit and first aid kit um, I'm kind of more relying on my EDC to make this work I do not have flashlights in here um, or cutting tool in here. I will rely on my EDC cutting tool and flashlights. I carry several so um, in here I have the first aid items so plasters, um, compete for your feet when you get blisters, uh, wind disinfectant, burn gel, the reg regular stuff just less of it and then I have my medication, my nuke pills, you know water purifying tablets like before just the same medication just a bit less items and then the primary item will be a tea-free Israeli dressing so I have a trauma dressing which also comes with packing gauze I have duct tape which I will try to make a roll to fit in here but it's in here and then I have the tourniquet so with the wrapping and the duct tape I can make a chest seal with the bandage I can pack a wound junctional wound or deal with a a non arterial bleed and then I have the tourniquet for an arterial bleed I will see how I feel about this if I feel naked or not I don't know I might add one of those small tourniquets to my kit maybe a TK4 something more pediatric smaller one we will see we will see and I've been considering to get one of those um, strap cutting hooks, if you know what I mean, those seat belt cutting hooks, which you can cut uh, a pant leg or whatever with. If I find one which is reasonably priced, I might add it to my to my gear. And then finally, in the bottom here, I have my my leather gloves, as shown before. For um, you know, if you need to lift some boulders, you need to dig through rubble, you need to get into a car, something is hot, something is burning, you need to protect your hands in that case, so here it is. And then, of course, in addition to that, I have my phone, I have my tactical pen with glass breaker. 
I have my wallet and notepad. And then I have my small caddy here with my Victorinox Tinker, Olight and Zebra pen. And then finally, if we turn off the car, whistle, flashlight, and Victorinox Classic. So, that's my EDC update as of now. Things might change, just trying out something lighter. We'll look for some extra items for my new first aid setup and see if I like it, if I don't like it. Any suggestions, please post them in the comments and feel free to tell me what you carry. And if you would carry a satchel or a backpack or a sling bag or a fanny pack, do you carry a fanny pack? I recently got a new fanny pack, so video coming soon. But uh, yeah, or maybe a belt pouch or how do you carry your gear? Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye bye.